Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my studio. I gotta stop the video right here. I forgot to introduce myself. Hi, Root. My name is Natalie Colwood from Natalie Colwood Art and Mixed Media. Let's go back to the video. Today I want to introduce myself a little more and uh, tell my new subscribers um, what this channel is all about. So first of all, I'm a mixed media artist and I like to in inspire you guys to be creative every day of your life with very little effort, very little money, just to get your out of your slump and out of your, you know, day-to-day -day things that happen in life. It's really good to be creative every day. So the way I'm doing it on this channel is I like to do little journals like this one. This is a tri uh, no, no, a more of a seasonal journal, so summer, winter, whatever. And this used to be an old planner which I don't didn't use, so I just converted it into a journal. Here, this one is a old cookbook. Same thing. I didn't use it anymore, so I just started to glue in pages and just paint it in there. And here's another one. This one is an actual mixed media uh, book. It's from Canson. I cut it in half. This part goes up here. And I just started journaling in here too. So you can reuse, recycle a lot of things in your house. You don't need to go buy a, buy a new one. This one is the Tiny Skinny Long Journal. Also like that. And then lately I started doing blue books. Blue books are great to get inspired for bigger projects, mixed media projects. Like you can learn about composition and um, color combination. It, I really enjoy that. It's a lot of fun. There's so many different kinds of glue books you can do. So the last video is how I um, harvest my magazines. I get my magazine cutouts from recycling bins where I work, thrift shop. I get really cheap old magazines. A lot of old other like sewing patterns and all kinds of stuff for your journaling. Um, you, maybe you get some magazines through your house. They, websites where you can buy recycled magazines. You can go look it up, recycled magazines, and I'm sure you find some. Like I have um, where I work, recycling bins, all this full of magazines. They don't need anymore, and yeah, I just take those and harvest from them. I have a video on my channel that, that's how I do that, how I take the, cut them apart and how I decide what I keep and what not. And yeah, so there's going to be lots of those videos about journaling and glue booking, but also behind me, you can see there's some art behind me, like this one. It's a mixed media collage piece which has a collage and um, paint and embellishments on it so I'm really enjoying to do that so usually these journals get me going on this and the bigger projects it's a lot of fun to make it's really easy it's, you know get you into the flow I mean it's not easy easy but it's just fun you can't you're a kid again so these are my main focuses on this channel. Make you guys be more creative and show you how to do it, give you some tips and tricks, how to improve your journaling and how you improve your mixed media work. If you're up to that, I would be happy that you guys would join me. Really appreciate it to see you guys on my channel. I really want to build a community to like for like-minded people like me and you. <laughs> Let's get the mixed media going here. Also, up, I'm usually going to do one to two videos a week. One is going to be more like a tutorial. The other one is going to be more of a, a demo video, just a quick one. And once a month, I'm going to do some Q&A or just live where you can ask me any questions you have about mixed media or my work or whatever. 
whatever's going on in your life, go ahead and tell me. <laughs> It'll be awesome. If you like again, that's great for you know building a community on here. Um, I um, would love that you guys would comment down here what other videos you would like to see on my channel that are related to mixed media, journaling, and you know blue baking, collaging in general. So le leave me comments down there. Tell me what you like to see or you have any questions. Maybe you have a video idea already that I can you know for my next video. So, yeah, so I would love to hear from you guys. Okay, so see you in the next video.